Hello YouTube, how are you? Oh, I forgot to say hello all Bon Bonch. Uh, it's in the middle of the morning right now. Not a single soul is about. And you can see the morning dust. Yeah, well, um, I actually been working all night, so I haven't slept yet. Um, but I, I ain't tired, because right now, I focus so much on the diabetics, you know that. Or talking about that. Whoa, there's such a fucking war going on. Who will win the uh, headphones? And who will win the t-shirt that was worn by me on at DreamHack Summer 2011. Uh, with not just a radio, uh, signed by me. Uh, the t-shirt you can bid on, uh, bid on at uh, eBay, yeah, check my Facebook, um, <laughs> check my Facebook after all, because if you check the pinned one, you can see like the bidding war going on, I think Martin, Martin is in lead right now with like, I don't know, insane amount of money, so, and all money is going to like, you know, the diabetic foundation and we're starting working in a lot of money for them and I'm so fucking happy about that it's like these people who have bid on these things I don't know I don't think they actually want the t-shirt to wear I don't think they actually want the headphones I just think they want to well to do, do this for great cause you can as well, you don't need to bid on anything, you can just donate. I mean, everything is in the description. But, uh, I can stand here, it's a good light here, right? I can stand here, here is a good light. So, yeah, I'm actually been, uh, I got told by my doctor yesterday that uh, now, six months-ish, since my motorcycle accident, or my two motorcycle accidents uh, when I when I lived in Thailand, um, I can walk now, and I'm so right now I'm going to take at least an hour walk every day just to get the rhythm going because you a lot of people comment that oh my god your belly is so big blah 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 well it's because first I wasn't in the bed for three months. Can you just imagine being in just the bed? And yes, the only time you go somewhere is when you need to go to the toilet. Otherwise, just in bed. And that was in Thailand. But it was in my house and I already spent three months. But I was there for my company. So, I mean, um, well, it was more than that. I think the time when I was restrained. I never really believed in God because a lot of good people in my life has been taken away from me, David for the diabetics as all of you know and also my grandfather, That's, by the way that's exactly why I have my username Morfar, it was uh, I think I was 14, 15 when I took it up uh, in honor of his name when he died because he was like my second father. So. Yeah, well, well, shit, shit has happened in my life, real shit. I don't even want to discuss a couple of things with like Ella and stuff, but imagine the worst. She's a diabetic, and you know, and people can do other stuff to themselves that aren't that good. And I just worried about her life, not just because diabetics do to other things as well. You guys can probably figure that one out. So I didn't really believe in anything. I was an atheist for a very little long time. Then I went to the Buddhist temple, uh, 2006 I believe, when I traveled Southeast Asia alone for uh, for one month. Uh, people have been asking, oh, what did you get? I don't know. Yeah, well, I no, I, I couldn't own anything. Uh, luckily, uh, I knew a family where uh, where I took 
the in initiation. It was in uh, uh, Chiang Mai, northern Thailand. I knew, f you, I knew the family fairly well uh, for about two months or so. So they had all my money, uh, my passport, my backpack, my clothes, my everything. And what they did at the Buddhist, uh, they gave me two ropes, robes, you know, robes, or more like blankets. Because I had so, so fucking hard time trying to, you know, take the blanket around myself because you only have one needle. You get two blankets, one needle, uh, uh, and only one blanket for each time because you need one to wash and one to wear. So, so and, and because you need to wrap, um, uh, wrap the, um, your robe around you. Like, think, think Greece, you know, Rome and all that, you know. Uh, you kind of get the drift and you have to put the needle in the exact perfect position. What the fuck was that? Oh, by the way, this is actually a nice house. I want to move in there when I be become a huge YouTube star. Uh, which I never will be. I know I talk too much, but maybe people find this interesting about my life. Um, so, uh, it was up early in the morning, 5 a.m. Um, more, well, I, I got a needle, uh, the two robes, and a pot, a big pot. Uh, because every morning at 5 o'clock in the morning, you go out um, uh, to the people, or wherever you are, where your temple is, and ask for food from farmers, from local villagers and stuff like that. Because Buddhism is such a great belief, because if you do good things, good things will happen. And giving something to a Buddhist is a really good thing. But as a newcomer, and they knew because it was a small, small little route we had, so obviously they saw that I'm a newcomer. The first couple of the first week, two weeks, I barely got a handful of rice to eat. I don't know, probably they had some problems with phalanx. Uh, it's actually farangs. Um, actually, that were, it's, a, it's a slang for um, Western people. But as Thai people have some problems saying R, they say phalang, phalang. Uh, like for example, if you say coupon, if you're going to say thank you, you always end every sentence. Well, male ends, ends their sentence with crap, but that 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 you know that's an R. So the first time I was in Thailand, I was like, oh, coupon crap, you know. Now it's like ah coupon ka, crap, yes. Fuck the R, you know? It was so strange. But anyway, so yeah, six, uh, five to seven, we went and gathered food for the entire day. I ate all the rice directly because I was so fucking hungry every morning. And then I had to sit on, uh, I had to wear, wear like shoes that are, are blocks underneath, really weird and hard wood, wood like these, for example about wood um, and then we had to go and meditate for a long time and during the time I just did it because I felt oh this is a cool thing but during my time uh, the last year uh, when I was away six seven months um, some strange things happened to me when I was praying uh, at altars I pray to Buddha. Um, really strange stuff. Um, and good things started to happen when I started to actually believe in what I actually converted to. Because I was a Buddhist right there and then, but I didn't really believe in it. But now I believe in it. I live by the code. Okay, I drink. I drink, that's it, I drink alcohol, okay. I take some medication that might be considered drugs because of my pain, um, but still. Um, 
I try to do good things because I don't know what kind of karma I had in my afterlife. That's what Buddhists believe in, by the way. It's a reincarnation. Reincarnation. Um, this is my, if you do, haven't noticed, this is my, uh, in, that, that was what I get, got from my master. He said uh, it's, um, it's a character in the Buddhist belief, or yeah, the Buddhist belief that it's a character that uh, he lived in a village that had a lake. Uh, but no water, uh, no 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 uh, fresh water. It was just salt water, and uh, villager uh, were had no fresh water, so or very little because he was uh, praying for thirty days for fresh water, and uh, the lake suddenly one day after thirty days of praying was fresh water so they can drink it I know that sounds silly I don't really believe it but I, I do believe like Buddha have exist I mean that's that's a fact I mean some of these people have lived so but this character I don't believe but what they say uh, what they said told to me is that you can do what others cannot and that's what that stands for my tattoo Give me my tattoo has um, one of the smaller, smaller Buddhist prayers in it. There's a lot of Buddhist prayers. So yeah, I feel like if I do this for the diabetics, I get good karma. I, if you do good things, good things happen. But you never know what what kind of karma you had in your off your life before you had this one, because karma carries on. So I just want to do good things, and I don't want to be seen as a bad guy. And I mean, a lot of people, you know, I've come to the sense that I will ignore all the hit comments and such. Because I know that I have a huge, you guys broke me into tears in a video last night, or well, maybe two nights ago, or whatever. But because you are so lovely, you understand me, and it feels like when I talk to you, it feels like I actually talk to a real person. You, I'm talking about you, every one of you. It's like, like, you know, did you see the vlog where Bon Bon showed up and wanted to meet me? It feels like I'm talking to them right now. It's like a conversation you have, but with a very late response. But I just feel like... I just want to raise the awareness of the diabetics out there, you know? I, do, do, did you guys even know that every for every eight second one person in the world dies of diabetics every eight seconds and let's say there is what what are you saying what what is the saying is it there is a kid born every second and a person died every second or every every other second so that's you know that's kind of a big deal so think about that like then you might understand my approach to everything and due to the fact that I have sister has it and it's um, it's almost soon David's my dead friend's anniversary so I'm going to uh, most likely take a couple of I I think I don't know if, if, if it's okay with the community of course I'm going to ask the community by, but I'm, I think I'm going to take some money out of the um, donation 
com uh, thing uh, for the diabetics and actually give it to David's family because they have suffered, suffered enough they have suffered enough and I feel they deserve it I'm not I'm not saying I'm going to take 10% I'm not saying I'm going to take 5% I'm just saying I want to give them something just to show my appreciation and tell them more about this they, they don't really understand exactly what I'm doing but eventually when they when they can see when I can come to them with the certificate they're going to be hopefully very happy with what we have accomplished uh, what else do I want to talk about now when I'm I feel like oh by the way I'm actually going to show you my foot this is uh, if people have problems with foots and or disgusting foots don't look um, so here's my foot how it looks right now you see it have healed here uh, the big toe is really crippled here you can see what it uh, have harmed my uh, skin same on the other here is a lot of bruises you stand in the sun you can see it on the end there as well but it's only it's only the um, big toe, the right big toe that hurts right now, so walking is no problem. I actually bought a, a, a exercise program, uh, the doctor actually, we talked about Connect uh, for Xbox 360 and he actually, pro he actually said that this workout program that I bought, it was like a sh shape or sh fit in shape or whatever it was called you can buy it on Xbox marketplace so I'm going to do that once an hour, uh, one, uh, one, ev one, uh, one hour every other day so I can get in shape again because it's been gone six months without training pretty much just sitting and now I want to um, have a goal to reach to lose 30 kilos I know it's a big, big thing, but I'm determined. You guys know who I am. You have seen what I can do. Even, even when I was in the most pain of all in Thailand, I still kept going. <sighs> Stuff that happened before I d went to YouTube, I still kept going. I know I can do it. I don't know how long it will take, but I will do it. So I have another goal, so now it's an even bigger thing for you to follow me on my vlogs and stuff. Um, also, uh, we are going to host uh, the uh, Q&A. So I'm going to post a Q&A in a very, very near future. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, I have, I have yet to go to my my very strange sponsor. I don't know anyone on YouTube that has a sponsor like me. I'm actually sponsored by a tattoo uh, studio, Studio S in Lin Shopping, Sweden, one of the, the Sweden's best st uh, studios. Uh, but I have yet to do a tattoo. You know my tattoo on my on my arm, which which uh, is Shakti. Here, of the remote bike crash, I have an R, uh, or, or a scar. So what I'm thinking is doing a tattoo on the arm. And life-changing thing. I'm going to do something that will, well, tattoos is a life-changing thing. You can't really, re you can't delete it, but, you know. On, on Tuesday, yeah, on Tuesday, I'm going to Örebro, a Swedish town to um, uh, actually do dreads, dreadlocks, yeah. So they will extend my hair about to here, and then, so the dreads are about here, so I can do a ponytail and stuff like that, so I can actually, you know, make, make it look good. 
and uh, they've been recommended by newspapers that are into tattoos and dreads and stuff like that. Uh, reviews on uh, Facebook is good. Uh, they are they are from Jamaica, so can get any better. So yeah, I'm going to vlog that ob obviously. But <laughs> do you guys know how long it will take? Because he said or she said uh, that they don't do it like all the other crappy studios. They do it the uh, the Jamaica way. So it's going to take me about. 10 hours to do it so I will be there about 10 a.m. in the morning and uh, we'll drive back at 8 o'clock at night if my math is correct I think it is but yeah I'm home now so yeah so people who are asking me why do you live with your parents guys my parents are going to Thailand and be away for a year. This is this, this is all mine. We have a jacuzzi, we have a sauna, we have big ass motherfucking 60 inch televisions. I mean, guys, why? Why would I move and pay even more, you know? I mean, I have a fucking house for myself for an entire year. I say, be where I am and uh, save up a lot of money for that special car I want to buy. And uh, then also save up an, uh, enough money to buy a, a, a flat as well. But I know, I mean, I know they're going to dig fiber optics here soon. So I will eventually get 100 to 100. So 100 down up and 100 down in terms of internet speed. Um, I'm, if I drag my connection, I have some connection in Atelia, so maybe I even can get into the beta program of 1000, 1000. So I'm excited about that, but that's not for at least three months away. But yeah, guys, I've been rambling uh, enough. I love you all. Pussy kram, alla barnbarn. Hope I gave you some insight. This was just me. Wanted to talk to my barnbarn. The way I always have. And people saying uh, I've changed. Yeah, I've become fatter. I grow them beard. I'm still the same fucking person, don't you say? Bye guys.